Hey there, Tallman Clan. Welcome back. Today, we are looking at a brand new line from Forest River. It is their Wildcat. You've probably seen their Wildcats before, but this is the Wildcat 1. It's a price point entry level fifth wheel. There's four designs here. We can't cover them all, but we're gonna cover one of them. I did do some shorts on all of them, so we can take a look at that. But this is the 29RL, so let's look at that. Right up front, you have a nice, decent sized storage. That's more travel uh, trailer size storage. It's not huge fifth wheel storage, but there's plenty of room to store stuff in there. Right next to that, you got your propane tanks. And you could put 30 pounders in there if you want, but you know, as we talked before, so many things are going uh, with solar and 12 volt, you're not using as much propane. So you can get away with the 20 pounders and just go, you know, turn them in at your local gas station. This one has a smaller awning. It only covers from the door to the front, which is just fine because the entryway is covered and you'd probably be hanging out in this area anyway, okay? This one has a uh, four point hydraulic leveling system, okay? So we walk around to the back. <laughs> Actually, it is not uh, a hydraulic level. Excuse me, forget that. Um, it is a manual stabilization. If you see down here, you've got your manual crank down jacks here. The other ones just adjust, but it's all manual. This is how we get into price point. Speaking of price point, here you go. Here at the show, it's selling for 48,995, let's again, let's just call that 49,000. And for a fifth wheel these days, that is pretty good. Over here, sort of your water bay, which is interesting. It's right up here in the front, which is nice. Okay, and in front of that are the numbers. Let's get, let's get some numbers on this, Lisa. All right, so this has a gross vehicle weight are you ready for this? 11,825 pounds, gross vehicle weight. But you can put in 3,308 pounds. So when this thing is empty, oh my gosh, let me do the math backwards on that. You're about uh, 8,000 8, plus pounds, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, about 8,000-ish pounds empty. That is pretty light for a fifth wheel this size, okay? Um, there is also some storage up front. I call these your utility uh, closets, right? Because um, if you want to put a generator or you know you just store your hoses, that's just sort of a utility closet. Let's go inside. Now we were talking with the Forest uh, River rep who handles the Wildcat One line, and this is built just like the shells, the structures are built just like their Wildcats. They didn't script when it came to structure. Where you're getting some of your price points are in some of your finishes, though nothing is left out here, which you, as you see, as you're standing there, you got opposing slides, right? Two sofas back here in the back, your recliner theater seats, which are beautiful, a nice, uh, uh, um, uh, I call that a love seat, it's not a full sofa, but that would pull out to be a bed. There's some sort of end tables next to it with power and USB charging ports, right? There's uh, a cabinetry up above, right? Oh, that's actually sort of a, a glass lease. So come over here. Oh, I thought it was two-tone two wood. Yeah, it's I not. did too. Well, that's neat. That. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then across from your theater chairs, you have your entertainment area. Right? TV, 39-inch HD LED. You can see that. Nice fireplace down below with a cubby up here. So if you're maybe putting a satellite dish or something, you want to put your electronics down there, you could do that. All right. I skipped the, uh, the dinette, and I apologize, but... There you go, there's your dinette. And as you can see, there's storage underneath there. You just lift that up. And that converts into being a bed as well, right? Windows, we really, I didn't mention the windows, but you've got big windows all the way around. Again, just because it's a price point fifth wheel doesn't mean you're losing some of the niceties, right? I, I mean, it may not be granite countertops and tiled floors, but I mean, great space, Lisa. Exactly, and like you said, you're not sacrificing on the quality, you're still having this, the construction that you would with a normal Wildcat, yep. um, just this is not solid surface. In fact, Robert from uh, Forest River was telling us, even the roof, it's um, um, the underneath structure is, is, is wrapped around the edge. In fact, let me just point that out to you. I should have pointed it out when we were outside, but if, if you take a look at that fifth wheel up there, you see how the where the edge of the roof meets the sidewall. Okay, see how sort of thin that is right there? Look at how thick that is. 
So even though this is a price point, they've sort of wrapped over the sidewall to prevent any kind of leaking issues in the future. All right, it's just really cool. Yeah, absolutely. So we do have an island, it is offset, so you have room for your drying your dishes or for your prep area. You do have a large single basin sink. We have some storage drawers over here, okay? And below the sink, we have some nice storage. There's a trash, trash can, can in there, yeah, exactly. Nice. Okay, um, in the kitchen, we have our microwave. We do have a three burner stove and we have an oven. Nice. Okay. Cabinetry um, all around. All around. Nice. There's some storage underneath there. We've got storage drawers here. We've got cabinets here and above. Okay. Excellent. Then we have our refrigerator. 12 volt ever chill. Yeah, there's um, Is that one lock. It's got a button on there it you that go. you've got to push. <laughs> now, look at that. there's a, like a little uh, step stool down there to get to the top of the cabinet. I love need, that so. because yeah. I hear so often that people can't reach the upper shelves, and, and there it's got a perfect home. Now, again, being a, a sort of price point type fifth wheel, the cabinets don't go all the way to the top, but you know, they're still pretty tall. I'm, I'm, I'm six foot four. And you know I can reach up here, but Lisa couldn't. Mm -hmm. So they actually include not just the uh, step stool, but a place to put it. Yes, All absolutely. Right? Nice little coffee bar area, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, All right? definitely. Very nice. All right. Well, let's go up here. Okay. Because y'all know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! For those who are joining us for the very first time, as I mentioned back there a second ago, I am six foot four. So use my height as reference as we're walking around the RV. As you can see at my height, there is no restrictions at all whatsoever in this bathroom on this toilet, okay? If you've ever looked for RVs before, it is sometimes hard to find an RV that someone at my height can fit comfortably on a toilet and a shower. So I can't wait to get into that shower, okay? Great toilet. Right across from the toilet, you have your vanity. Right, um, and some nice extra countertop space for you know putting those lotions and potions and things out there. You've got some storage down underneath there as well, which is great. And then a nice big mirror, guys. Right, you see from my height, I, I've got no issue. Um, you know, I'm trying to do my hair, even though I'm follically challenged. You know, I do you know brush the hair. Anyway, a little medicine chest. Um, it's not. Uh, um, there's no door, so I'm not sure how the little pill bottles would do going down the street, but. You, you know, know, you can just get some little tension rods for, for when you're oh, traveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That keeps things in place. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's climb in that shower. What's again, nice is, so if you look down low, Lisa, mm -hmm. it's a low profile sh uh, shower. Oh, yeah. Right? And so I don't have to step up, so I'm not losing height when I get in the shower. So only the shower pans, you have to sort of step up to get in there. As you see, I'm not even in the bubble and I've got clearance, right? Once you get in the bubble, um, there's much more clearance. That's another, that's another foot or more. And so no height issues here. There is a curtain, remember, price point. If you wanna upgrade, I, I would get that retractable door thing. I'll, I'll leave a description. We talk about it in our videos all the time, but I'll, I'll leave a, a link. I forget where it goes, but a link uh, to that video if you wanna check that out. I love the shower, Lisa. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, and then up into the bedroom, wait until you see this, okay? Nice bedroom, all right? So um, this is probably a RV King. It's uh, actually 66, which is a very strange width, <laughs> <laughs> by 80. So it's, it's queen or king length, 80, but it's 66. So it's wider than a queen, but about a foot shy of a king. <laughs> um, but it's not bad. I mean, here, I'll lay on it for you guys so you can see. I mean, there's plenty of space. Right, so there's plenty of space for two people, right? Mm -hmm, That's absolutely. not bad at all. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Up at the head, you have got power and USB charging ports. Um, there's uh, sort of nightstands next to there, if that's what you want to call them. Okay. Kind of covered by the comforter there. Yeah, and there's a cubby. Is there a cubby down on this side? There yep, is. There's a cubby down there. It's the same on the other side. Yes. There's some cabinetry up front. Mm -hmm. But here, come, come let, let me have this. Look at this. I was shocked when I came here the first time. You also have a wardrobe over here, but it's not just a wardrobe, it's washer dryer prepped. So you can put a washer and dryer in here. You know, I, I find it interesting because typically price point type fifth wheels or, or entry level fifth wheels, whatever you want to call them, they, they that's not included. No. It's just not there. Never. Right? So uh, we hope you guys uh, like this. Again, uh, Wildcat 1. Yeah. 
debuting here at this and we're bringing it to you for the first time and so we hope you like it this is really neat yeah um if you're on a tighter budget you don't want to spend 60 grand um this might be the one they have four models um you can check them out on the internet um we video this we may try to stream the rest for you guys um but uh, check them out great designs yes all right uh first time catching us do us a favor subscribe hit the thumbs up button do all that fun stuff all right, uh, for the tall man clan out there that come back time and time again, God bless you guys. We really do love you. Thank you so much. All right, until we see you all again, be safe.